Today I am not going to be posting a um, hoop technique tutorial. I wanted to um, talk about bruising and um, the, the natural wear and tear that you'll get when you first start to hoop or when you first start with any new hoop technique. Uh, it is completely natural. It does happen, um, as far as I know, to everybody, uh, especially when you start waist hooping. Uh, your, your hoop is going to be rolling over your hip bones, typically, uh, while you're getting used to where the hoop is going to fit comfortably on your body when you start to get into that groove. Um, and basically, your your body is trying to figure out where the hoop is going to be the most comfortable, uh, and that'll just come with a little bit of time and some muscle memory. Uh, but every time the hoop hits your hip bones, it's going to cause a little bit of bruising at first, especially with the really heavy beginner hoops, uh, which is, you know typically like a three quarter inch 160 psi hoop. That's a heavy, a heavy dude. Uh, and every time it hits bone, it's it's going to make a little mark. Uh, over the next two or three weeks, uh, as you keep hooping on your waist, your body will basically it'll send messages to itself that ouch that hurts. Don't put the hoop there, and you'll learn to balance where the hoop actually sits on your body. And and it'll probably either tend to uh, go a little above your hip bones or a little below, and that bruising will start to start to uh, sort of fade out. Whenever you go to another technique, say off-body technique, where you're rolling your hoop over your hand, that was where I saw a lot of bruising also on uh, the, the top of my hand. This is a sensitive part of your body. You're going to be rolling a really heavy hoop over the top of your hand. You'll see a lot of bruising. But once again, that'll go away um, once your body figures out how to accommodate that weight and how to move with the hoop. Sort of like whenever you start doing aerobics, you, um, you're you going to have those couple of weeks where the lactic acid buildup uh, will make your muscles really sore. And it's just uh, getting, getting your body up and moving and getting used to something you haven't done before or you haven't done in a really long time. Uh, another place that I got a lot of bruising was on the outsides of my legs whenever I started leg hooping. That tore me up. It felt like I had hit a bus every day for about two weeks. Um, but you just, uh, you know, so long as it's nothing crazy, if it's just a little bit of bruising, that's completely normal. If, if you've got some bruising and um, something doesn't feel right, you might want to, you know, chill for a couple of days, try it again and see what happens. Um, definitely don't do anything that's going to hurt your body. Um, really feel through that. If, Like I said, if it's just a matter of a little bit of bruising where the hoop might be hitting bone, uh, it's completely natural. You'll also find other other things will happen, you know, just wear and tear wise. Um, I know last summer I, I hooped a lot bare feet in this big patch of dirt I have in my backyard. And um, I noticed that after about um, two, three weeks of doing that, my feet were completely tore up. Uh, and it was just, you know, a natural reaction to bare feet and mud and just like a drying process and I had to build up some calluses. So um, just like, just like, like I said, just like anything that you do, there's going to be uh, a two, three week time period where your body's just going to have to adjust to whatever you're doing. And, um, you know, feel it out. If it's completely uncomfortable and uh, you can't handle it, you know, back off just a little bit. Uh, a hot shower and some Arnica gel will work wonders. So if you can get your hand on some Arnica, that I highly, I highly advise it. But uh, if you guys have any questions for me, um, hooping, non-hooping, whatever, please feel free to get a hold of me anytime. Alright, bye guys.